Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 16. Today we will at long last start building the steel mill. Ultimately, I decided to skip the iron side of things for now, just focus on completing the mill, and we can import the iron for a little bit. We will also continue building the railroad toward the border, and by the end, the track layer will be on the very last segment. In fact, the steel mill itself will be only days away from completion. But that's not the only thing we will do today, we will also continue upgrading the road network, mostly around Kirkimov, and our new coal industry. So, let's get this ball rolling. The sooner we start this construction project, the sooner it will get done. Let's make sure we only build what we must, meaning the conveyors coming in from Karbanov. Everything else is unnecessary right now. Next, we have the power to sort out. The steel mill needs a dedicated high voltage connection, so let's deal with that now. Thankfully, to achieve this, we only need to disrupt the lines going to the coal district, and that's fine. We have plenty of gravel stored in Kirkimov already, and I think we will survive if we temporarily cut off the money we make from the coal exports. Yes, that was sarcasm. Thankfully the cable already got laid down with some consideration for the change in elevation along the way. It's not perfect, but it will save us some time and money. And I was pretty convinced that we will need more money to do all this, so let's just take out another loan now. In fact, we will end up taking out another one later, but if all things go as they should, that should be the last one. While all that is going on, how about we continue upgrading the roads? There are quite a few half-finished streets around the Republic. I was a little bit hasty with this one though. I managed to block entry to the loading station. No biggie, we can just use the storage directly for a little bit. Good thing I got reminded about these guys. I think it would be best if we fired up the steel mill with some coal already stored up, so maybe we should stop selling it, at least for a little bit. Later, I will just start using a distribution office to sell it if we go above 50% in the storage, but that's about it. Next, we need to start thinking about increasing the coal production, so some bigger capacity buses are in order. As for these microbuses, they can be mothballed for now. Next, we need to make sure all the conveyor towers are all powered. With the current setup, they are, but I still wanted to ensure that the secondary coal train loading zone is also fully powered. The easiest way to achieve this was to move one of the substations. While I only discovered this after the episode was over, but I did miscalculate a little bit, and with the new placement, one of the towers will end up out of range. Oh well, we can deal with that while we set up the steel mill in the next episode.
and the radio station is complete. I think I will skip building that footpath going toward the main street. We have plenty of workers in range already. As for the program, I think a 30% culture and 70% propaganda split will do fine. This is also the kind of job where we can start thinking about the loyalty of the citizens working there. The average is at around 40% nationwide, so maybe a 35% is a good start, and we can increase it as the average goes up. Yeah, setting it to 40% was too high. 35% it is. And we have the important seats being filled again. That should do it for now. Okay, the loading station is accessible again, we can go back to normal. This is pretty much as far as I want to go with the internal roads in Kirkimov, but there is no need to stop. We can continue upgrading the surrounding infrastructure. I was curious if I can merge the neighboring intersections on the roundabout, but they are too far apart. Oh well, they will work fine either way. And in the meantime, the track layer managed to finish the second bridge, and is already busy working on the last continuous series of track segments towards the border. I decided to go with the southern branch, since that one doesn't have a bridge to deal with, so hopefully, it will be done quicker, even though it is a bit longer overall. This little guy did quite a good job all by itself. How long was it? Three episodes? Now that we can stop the train on the tracks, I might want to preserve this track layer as a monument. I have no idea if this will work, but I was thinking of building a small side track segment somewhere, send it there with waypoints, stop it, delete the tracks around it, and turn it into a kind of monument. That's just an idea I had as I'm editing this. Absolutely no idea if it would work, but I'm more than willing to give it a try. and power is back on in Karbanov. Coal production is running again, so we should have a pretty healthy stockpile by the time the steel mill starts up.
All right, half of this intersection is done, and once the asphalt roller is finished, we can upgrade the other half. We need to wait, or the trucks would need to make a detour through Kirkimov if they want to go this way. And there it is. Time to finalize this part of the road network. We can also continue working on this side. Now, about these poplar trees. I got to be honest, I think I went a bit overboard with them. Maybe if we removed half of them, they wouldn't look so crowded. Let's catch a ride and see how they look now. I don't know about you, but I think I like them better this way. With all this construction going on, all other industries are struggling a bit. But it's a small price to pay for such a big leap forward. and we can upgrade the other half of this dirt road now. Another piece around Kirkimov done. We are getting there. We might as well start upgrading the roads in Karbanov as well. Thankfully, we have two separate roads going to it, so we can upgrade one, and trucks can still use the other one. Progress on the steel mill might look a bit slow now, but let me assure you, it will be only days away from completion by the end of the episode. Things are slow now because the foundation is a big job, and we only have two excavators working on it. I was also contemplating the possibility of building a couple more housing blocks today, but ultimately decided not to. It will have to be done sooner or later, but today, I wanted to focus on the steel mill, as well as the roads. Once these bulldozers are free, I will do a bit of terrain manipulation in Estergrad, but that's about it.
and the track layer is almost at the last junction, not counting the X crossings later on. Getting real close to the EDK track layer now. To pass the time, I also did a bit of decorating in Molna, capping off these dangling factory connections with asphalt textures. Ha, huh, we have a leftover footpath here. I might fill in some of these holes with gravel or something, but that's later. More road constructions required my attention. Also, I finally remembered to check the reach of the current fire services. Thankfully, we have full coverage, but I spent way too long without making sure. Well, except for one of the quarries, but I think I can live with that. and the foundations on the steel mill are done. This is where things start speeding up, mostly thanks to the cranes. They are going to be a huge help once the building materials are delivered. Some of them are already on their way. Unfortunately, it's two road cranes and only one tower crane only. Later I will remedy this situation, but for now, we can let it go. With the main entrance to Karbanov done, we can continue upgrading the other side. At this point, it's mostly down to the throughput of our delivery trucks. With the cranes present, even a small number of workers should be able to consume those resources as fast as they arrive. and the coal storage is already half full. Good news. With that, we can safely resume selling the excess, although with the increased workforce, the rate of production will easily outpace the rate of exports. Especially since I decided to only use three trucks now, instead of four. But we are not making all that much money from selling it anyways, so it's more of a symbolic effort. But just in case, I still set the limit to 50%. Once the steel mill is completely self-sufficient, I think the next thing we need to sort out are the brick and prefab panel production. We use quite a bit of those. Also, here I decided to switch one of the road cranes at the steel mill to a tower version. That should speed things up. We just needed to press Ctrl H with the road crane selected, and just had to keep sending it home until the tower crane decided to go instead. There, it's off to the steel mill. That will make the work of our construction crew even faster.
it seems the intersection in front of the Kirkamov fire station was still two separate nodes. Time to fix that situation. The emergency vehicles should still get priority as far as I know, so the main road can still use the proper signage. In the meantime, one side of this road got finished, so let's do the other. And with this, we can also continue working on the Karbanov roads. It seems only one track is active, so it is smooth sailing from here for our track layer. Yeah, despite exporting, the amount of coal is increasing. The most economical way of doing this will be with trains, and hopefully, we can do that relatively soon. And the steel mill is in the next phase of construction. Which reminded me, how about we fix the train tracks around it? This is more of a decorative thing. In reality, only a single train will ever enter these tracks at once, so it doesn't really matter that we have four separate branches on it. The trains will park themselves in the outside storage for pickups, but I didn't want to leave the steel mill's internal platform unconnected. We have so much concrete to deliver now, maybe it's time to buy the rest of the mixers. This small investment should speed things up a little. And with this, the second entrance to Karbanov is almost complete. Dealing with the internal roads will be trickier, that will require us to sever quite a few connections temporarily. And here's that small terrain work I mentioned a little while ago. It's meant to set the stage for the next phase of housing projects. I think it's time to start building homes on the lower part of the island. But then I got curious about the current level of loyalty, and I completely forgot about it. Things are improving on that front by the way. The rate of increase is quite noticeable. By the time I got back to it, the bulldozers were off doing something else. This meat delivery method is still working quite well. I love seeing my trucks unloading this way, it's much more fuel efficient. And both entrances to the coal industry is finished. We can move on to the smaller side streets. Despite the increased number of concrete mixer trucks, we are still struggling to deliver it in high enough quantities. But this phase will be done soon, and then it's smooth sailing from there. And the track layer is almost at the border. Things are getting exciting. I know, two train rides in one episode can be a bit much, especially on the same route, but I can't help myself.
That little drop after the junction is a bit steep, but at this point, I'm not gonna mess with it. And the roads in and around Kirkimov are pretty much done. No point delaying, we can set the one-way designations now. And I bit the bullet, and went ahead with the road upgrade at the Karbanov bus stop. It will disrupt the work there quite a bit, but we need to do it sooner or later anyways. That's all the gravel delivered in one go. Time for the bulldozer. It seems all the open hull trucks are busy moving stuff to the steel mill. And it seems it's time to take out another loan. We are really close now, so hopefully this is the last one, but I kind of doubt it. Anyways, since I didn't want to wait, I just released the bulldozer on its own. Alright, things will be back to normal soon enough. And we have a fire in the industrial zone. Thanks to my earlier check on the fire station reach, I wasn't too worried. Things could still go a bit faster. We really need to get this road upgrade business out of the way. Okay. Things are moving in Karbanov again. I think I will continue the upgrade in the next episode. We have about 2000 workdays left on the steel mill, and we have everything already delivered. At this point, it's all down to the buses, and their ability to bring in workers from Estergrad. Thanks to the cranes, work is going very fast, so it won't be long now. We can also put back the road going to the open storage, mostly for fire safety reasons. And we are in triple digits now. And look. The track layer is officially on the last track segment now. I really hate to do this, but my alarm clock was loudly beeping at me at this point, so I think a double cliffhanger is how we will leave things for today. At least we have two separate good news to look forward to in the next episode. One will be the completion of the steel mill, and also the continuous rail line between the border and the rail construction office. As for the steel side of things, we will only need to sort out three things. The importing of the iron, 
the transportation of the workers from the city, and that small snafu I did with the power along the conveyor towers. But after that, we should have some homemade steel at last. I've been looking forward to it for quite a while. I will also look into if I can create a small monument to our intrepid little track layer, who did a great job. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, then leaving a like and subscribing to the channel just might motivate me to make more. If you are more in the donating mood, you can find a link to my Kofi page in the description, where you can buy me a glass of water. I don't really drink coffee. Thank you for your support, and until next time, I will see you later.